Welcome to Toiku World Geography, where we explore the world one country at a time. Today we are diving into the heart of Europe to uncover the mesmerizing geography of Switzerland. Hey there, fellow explorers. Have you ever wondered what makes Switzerland such a unique and a fascinating country? Well, you are in the right place. From its majestic mountains to its pristine lakes and charming cities, Switzerland is a geographical wonderland just waiting to be discovered. The official name of the country is the Swiss Confederation. The population is around 8 million. The capital city is Bern. The area is 15,940 square miles or 41,284 square kilometers. Official languages are German, French, Italian, and Romansh. Currency is Swiss franc. Major rivers, Rhone and Rhine. Switzerland is a small mountainous country located in the heart of Europe. This landlocked country is about the size of New Jersey and is between France and Italy. It's also bordered by Austria, Germany and Liechtenstein. Most of the population lives in the plateau which is between the high Alps in the south and the Jura Mountains in the north. The mountainous area in the south is sparsely populated. Today, Switzerland is a federal republic consisting of 26 cantons, each with its own distinct identity and autonomy. Guess what? Many people think the capital of Switzerland is Zurich or Geneva. One of the surprising facts about Switzerland is that its capital city is actually Bern, located in the country's west central part. There you'll find the parliament building, the centuries old French church, and the UNESCO heritage listed old town. Switzerland didn't become a member of United Nations until 2002 and is not a member of the European Union. Zurich stands as the largest city located in the northeastern part of the country and the Swiss political system remains the centralized which cantons retaining significant authority within the federal framework. Switzerland has a strong and extensive transportation system. Zurich International Airport serving as the largest and busiest airport in the country. Geneva and Basel, they also have a major airport in Switzerland, ranking as the second and the third busiest airports. Despite covering only about 30% of the land surface, the North Swiss Plateau accommodates approximately 75% of the population. Switzerland's transportation infrastructure is renowned for its efficiency with well-paved highways, extensive tunnel networks, and extensive rail system. The Gotthard-based tunnel stands out as a remarkable engineering feat, being the world's longest and deepest traffic tunnel. Connecting 
the cantons of Uri and Ticino, this tunnel significantly enhances freight and passenger transport, facilitating the swift movement of about 11,000 people and 70,000 tons of cargo daily. Public transportation in Switzerland, particularly trains and trams, is highly developed, providing convenient access to various destinations. Notably, the tram system of Zuri and Basel contribute to sustainable transportation, which retired trams often finding new homes in cities like Belgrade and Kiev. Historically, Switzerland's influence extended beyond its borders with certain territories outside its modern boundaries, once serving as protectorates and associates of the Swiss Confederation. Population Switzerland's population, consisting of about 8.5 million people, is diverse ethnically with Swiss nationalists comprising roughly 75% and resident foreigners the remaining 25%. The linguistic breakdown includes about 63% German speaking, 23% French speaking, and 9% Italian speaking Swiss, with less than 1% being Romance speaking. This linguistic data is often used instead of ethnic data in Swiss populations. Irrespective of their ethnic backgrounds, about 64% of the 25% foreign residents in Switzerland come from EU or EFTA countries. The largest groups are Italians, followed by Germans, Portuguese, and French. Additionally, there are significant number of Turkish people, people from Kosovo, Albanians, and Sri Lanka. Switzerland's history is quite fascinating and unique among European nations. Unlike many other countries, it didn't originate from a monarchy or a single ruling authority. Instead, it emerged as a confederation of mountainous regions inhabited by fiercely independent communities. Over time, these communities formed alliances and cooperated to maintain their autonomy and resist external influence. The exact origins of Switzerland as a confederation are subject to debate with various theories proposing different historical events as key moments. Some argue that its foundations date back to medieval times when communities in the Swiss Alps form defensive alliances against external threats. Others point to the Napoleonic Wars in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, during which Switzerland gained recognition as a neutral territory. Regardless of its exact origin, Switzerland's status as a confederation allowed it to maintain its independence and neutrality amid the power struggles of Europe. This independence was crucial in shaping Switzerland's identity as a nation known for its neutrality, stability, and commitment to diplomacy. Today, Switzerland's political system reflects its decentralized structure with cantons retaining significant autonomy within the federal framework. So, if you are looking for a destination that combines natural beauty, charming towns, and a commitment to environmental purity, Switzerland should 
definitely be at the top of your bucket list. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you next week with more adventures. Thanks. Oh,